the largest telescope on the planet is under construction right now. It is considered the world's first super telescope. This thing is enormous, and I'm excited to see what they're going to find. So what's interesting is this is actually being designed for infrared as well. Scientists are a step closer to understanding the inner workings of the universe, following the laying of the first stone and construction starting on the world's largest optical and infrared telescope. You can read about this on phys.org. I'll leave the link in the video description box. This has 39, a 39 meter mirror as the main uh, mirror in diameter. The extremely large telescope is going to be, obviously, as the name suggests, enormous, unlike anything before. It's also designed to be an adaptive telescope with the ability to correct atmospheric turbulence, which is taking the telescope engineering to another level. Now, it's being constructed on a peak out there that's over 3,000 meters in height and it is enormous it is absolutely huge now let me show you on the map here this is on google maps i'll zoom in to the peak out here perfect location it's over nine thousand feet in elevation you can see this reminds me a little bit of Big Bend, except for the Big Bend telescope is only about 6,000 feet in elevation. Nothing like this. There's multiple telescopes out there, which are amazing. I'm going to go to a star party out there shortly. But almost 10,000 feet, 9,990 feet is the peak. What are they going to pick up? And are they looking for brown dwarf stars that are lurking outside of the Kuiper Belt? And with everything in specific orbit... What are they expecting to find? Does this validate much of the Planet X binary star brown dwarf, brown dwarf star researchers? They're putting billions and billions and billions of dollars into infrared scopes. And the Planet X anomaly that was discovered in the 80s, supposedly discovered via infrared in Chile, and obviously, if the government knows about this, this is the last thing they're going to want to tell the people about. Because people aren't going to, go to want to go to work if there's... But at the same time, let's say they do know about it. Well, they're going to do something to stop it. They're not just going to build stuff here on Earth. I mean, if people are really worried about the, the end of life as we know it, I'm sure that the government would do anything necessary to offset that. Now, maybe not for everybody on Earth. You know, maybe they'd like most of the people to go away at the same time. But they'll make sure that there's measures in place to, to offset that kind of stuff. And when you talk to people like Alexander that worked or that was in the military in Israel and knows a lot more about nuclear technologies and different generations of nuclear tech than I do, you know, his discussion about how there's technologies the size of a golf ball that could take out you know, they could crack a planet in half. Well, if that's what they had to use to offset the complete destruction of mankind and everything on Earth, I'm sure they'd do it. I don't think they'd just be like, yeah, let's build a telescope so we can watch it come in and just watch it. Just ride the wave until it's over, man. Come on, bro, light one up. No, they'll, they'll probably do what they need to do. So, I think this is pretty cool. I just got a phone call while we're talking. Apologies. I know your time is very valuable. So this is interesting. This is neat stuff. What are they going to find with this scope? Now, let's go into a little bit more detail here. The ELT is being built by the European Southern Observatory, an international collaboration supported by the UK Science and Technology Facilities. Oxford University scientists are playing a key role in the project and are responsible for the design and construction of its spectrograph. It's called the Harmony, and it's also an instrument designed to simultaneously take 4,000 images, each in a slightly different color. The visible and near-infrared instrument will harness the telescope's adaptive optics to provide extremely sharp images. So scientists can create a more detailed picture with the Harmony telescope. Truly incredible. I can't wait to see the images that come out of this. 
And I'm also looking forward to seeing the future that evolves around space technologies and telescopes. So have a beautiful day. Thanks for listening. Question everything. Be the change you want to see.